this dude right here was made for a purpose and unfortunately he ended up in my house and that's not a good place for this little dude so uh, okay, i'm sorry what's up dude he's like dude give me some worms baby that's what i need give me some worms god they're so pretty those eyes too i love the way his eyes look look at that right there what's up my dog you ready to get some food Oh yeah, tasty treat for the gecko boy. Who wants one? Yeah. I love watching this dude eat. Hey, hey. There we go. Oh yeah, he's like, wait a minute. That's what these are. Oh, watch him. Oh yeah, there it is. He's like, oh man, I didn't know these were, but this was food. Sheesh. Watch him. Watch him. <laughs> Licking his chops. Ooh. And bam. Woo. Yes. Yeah, he's locked in now, baby. Bam. Swallows him whole. Bam. What's up, guys? Look, this is like my favorite day when you get to feed everybody. Like, there's nothing better than feeding your reptiles. There's just not. Now, however, sometimes it's like for the faint of heart, there are certain things that you have to feed reptiles that you don't really want to. But in this video, we're gonna have some fun and I'm gonna show you what I do because I take all of my reptiles out when I feed them. I know some people are like, you shouldn't do that because of this and because of that. I'm gonna tell you right now, I have never once had an issue taking my reptiles out to feed them. However, I'm not taking out my dog baiter. He don't come out to eat, but he's probably the most boring to watch eat anyway. Right, here we go. She's like in the bath, like, are you serious? What are you doing? She's like, it's feeding time. So this is my girl Statham, and I'm gonna show you what I do with her when I feed this beautiful, beautiful snake. All right, so this is the setup, right? You got tubs all over the table. You know, you got school supplies, you got a laptop. But this is where it goes down, baby. Look at this, pure muscle. So she gets the big tub, she's the big dog, and she gets the bigger mouse. What I like to do is let her get in there for a minute, put the lid on, and then just let her settle. Now my boy Stark, obviously not quite as big, but even more beautiful. I love this dude, Colombian red tail boa. So we're gonna put him in a, <laughs> in a little tub as well. He gets the smaller tub over here and in it goes. Oh yeah, the dude Thor. So the biggest ball python I have and he gets a tub as well. Boop. And that'll be his feeding zone. So this is where most people struggle, right? Is they gotta feed live mice to a snake, which I do, I get it, I understand. But the problem is, is that some snakes just aren't gonna eat frozen, they're just not. And I believe, it's just my opinion, that when they feed on something live and they get the hunt, that it keeps them a little more tame. Boop, boop, CP is full. Are you full, dude? You do? Yeah, you ready to get back in there? <laughs> Look, I get it. These dudes are cute. They are. But they serve a purpose. It sucks. I get it. But that's why they're here. <laughs> this dude right here was made for a purpose. And unfortunately, he ended up in my house. And that's not a good place for this little dude. All right, so everything that I'm feeding today is going to get doused in this calcium right here. All right, it is in the description. There's a link for it. It is amazing stuff. I don't use it every time, but I use it at least once or twice a week, depending on what I'm feeding. They need this calcium. This is amazing stuff, and I highly recommend it. So we're going to put a little bit on him. Boop, 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 boop. So I'm going to do is just, I'm going to put a little bit in here because I'm going to use this for everybody that I put in. All right, and then get him a little mix. Sorry, dude. Sorry. He's like, man, what is this stuff you're putting on me? <laughs> he's going to go in there with Stark. He's just, he's what I call a little hopper mouse. Uh, he's going to go in there, but I'm not going to show it. But I just want to lease you guys to see 
the before and the after of what you can do when you do feed them outside the enclosure. All right, so here we go a little bigger, right? This is what I call a feeder mouse. This is what I give to my two ball pythons. They're a little bigger and they can handle it. And you know, they get one a week. All right, so again, right? So this is gonna go in there with my ball python. I'm gonna stop the video. Uh, you know, some people just don't like to see it. And I, I respect that, I understand. But it is just one of those things that has to happen when you have reptiles. All right, so my friend here, this is what we call a small rat. You know, again, you gotta be careful when you start growing how big uh, the mice are that you feed your snakes. You know, you don't wanna definitely give them something that they can't handle. At the same time, this is one I'm not gonna show you. Look, I, just look at least you know that they're like taken care of before they, they go into the dungeon. But I, I'm very careful when I feed rats. Once I get to rats, I'm very careful on watching, you know, using something that this rat can bite onto, not your snake. All right, so again, unfortunately, Statham gets the big rat. She's gonna go in uh, and we'll catch up with her later. Um, but obviously you can see we, we use a butter knife to put in the mouse's teeth. All right, so we come back to my dog, Stark. Uh, looks like he's uh, taking care of his business here, but I'm still gonna give him just a few minutes just to let it get settled before I take him out. <laughs> this is my girl, Rona, right? Y'all have seen her in past videos. And so <laughs> she's like, dude, there's nothing in there. Look at her. She's like, what are you doing? So I got some giant mealworms and some of these Dubai roaches. Oh, these things are huge and they're so good for them. So let's see what she does. Oh, what's in there? Get it. Get that thing before it gets across my carpet. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Here, Colton, you can finish this. Can you see him? <laughs> get him, get it, get that thing. Where's he going? Where's he going? Where's he going? Oh yeah, girl, look, don't let that thing get away. I can't have these little guys crawling across the house. That's what I need you for. Look, he's trying to hide underneath you. Where is he? See him, Kendall? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, there he is. Get him. Oh yeah, good job, girl. The cool thing about these guys is that they're omnivores. So what we do is we give her the roaches, we give her some mealworms, and now we give her some green lettuce. Broccoli. She sees it, let's see. Go bear. Actually, I gotta get it. Oh yeah, there you go. There you go. Oh yeah, she's like, dude, I can eat some broccoli. Yes, that is so awesome, dude. I love feeding this girl. Well, there we go. <laughs> then you got the meat platter. Yep, this is for the crocodile or the dwarf caiman, whatever you want to call it, doesn't matter. And my tegu. Now, <laughs> I'm going to do the tegu first because he is insane. Wait till y'all see this, dude. He's stupid. Look, don't act like you're sleeping. Come on, come on, let's eat. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. <laughs> Look at this fool. He, <laughs> he just buries himself under here. Look, watch this though. Watch. Oh yeah. Told you, he wasn't that tired. <laughs> Look at that. Gone, boy. The dude is crazy. All right. Another one? Huh? Huh? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Swallows it whole. It's so crazy how these guys do it. These tegus are like the garbage disposals of reptiles. Let's see if we can get them to work for a little bit. Oh, you better come on. Then you got to be quick. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Takes it all. And he goes in his spot. Where you going? You can't eat in private. You know this, bro. Woo. Watch him. He's like, oh. Let's just see if I can get him to come over here. <laughs> He's like, nah, bro. Yeah. You ain't making me chase it. And bam. Awesome dessert. Ah, there you go. <laughs> These tegus are insane, bro. Yes, somewhere under here is a crocodile. 
or a caiman, you know, even though it is a crocodilian species. Oh, there he is. So this, <laughs> this is what we do. He will not eat off the tongs. So this is how I have to feed him. I make the call. I put a little bit, whoop, there's one right here. And yes, <laughs> after about 10 minutes or come the morning, all of that will be gone. Like I told you before, the crocodile is what you think would be the most fun to film. However, he is the most boring. And there he is. Look, he's just sitting there like, come on, baby, throw that in there. Look at that. Our boy Stark is done. So I'm very gentle. Whoop. There we go. When I get him up, I let him kind of do his thing. Again, I don't want to stress him out too much. So I get him out and just kind of let him go about his way before I put him in his coy. And let's get our boys. Ooh, easy, big dog. Easy. As you can see, he tries to get that, that defensive thing. But I try to work very easy to get him out as well. Look, one finger. That way it's all him moving. And we'll put him back as well. Last not least, woo, what's up girl? I like to let her know I'm here, right? You can see she's got that little, she's like, what is that? And then she's like, oh, that's my buddy, right? But she had the biggest one. So again, just that one finger. And again, this has been about 10, 15 minutes after she was done eating. And then we just walk on back. And then, like I said, boring. And then there he is. He just sits there and like, put something else there so I can eat it. <laughs> well guys, I hope you enjoyed this awesome video. Of just getting to see what we do when you have reptiles and feeding, which is by far the best day of the week when you feed the snakes. I don't know, it's just, I love feeding the snakes. But anyways, I hope you guys loved it. Remember, love wildlife, even more love reptiles. Until next time, I'll see you, man.